big old fire, huh? Big old fire. Holy! <laughs> that is awesome. Uh huh. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at the beautiful stitching. So it is uh, three rows, triple stitched which means it comes up one, two, three stitches here. Triple stitch, nice wide uh, piece here, overlap um, for the seam, so we don't have to worry about it coming apart. Awesome. And then we did get the foam inserts for the roller furling, so it helps when you reef it up. Uh, it, the middle part bunches up faster, so then it takes out a lot of the, uh, the puffiness, the fullness of the sail. So when you reef it down, you can reef it down a little bit and still have good sail shape, which is absolutely awesome. We did that on the stay sail too, so it should help us change gears a little bit more. Uh, big draft stripes. This is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And the material feels so good. It does. Marble head. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, let's get it up. Let's get it up there. Pretty feet. from our background we are not in Florida right now we're not even in the Bahamas right now this segment is coming to you from Antigua uh, we wanted to give a review of the sail once we've had a bit of time to actually sail it and see how it performs so now that we have I don't know 1200 miles under that sail yeah yeah I think that's about right so now we can tell you exactly how it's working for us yeah I really didn't want to do the typical thing where we unbox it put it up and uh, say oh it sail sails great you know um, we did a not, great pleasure cruise today yeah it wouldn't be a real honest uh, review type of thing so we wanted to give you everything that we think of, of the, the sail um, from precision sales it, it's beautiful so we just got the, the sale from Far East Sail Makers out of Hong Kong. Hong Kong. I think Hong Kong, yeah. Um, got it from there. We did the same basic procedure as what we did with Precision, where we measured it ourselves, um, followed their little diagram, so on and so forth, and we did okay. It doesn't quite fit perfect, the sheeting angles off. So the amount that we have for track that's welded to the top of our deck. Um, isn't long enough. So what we end up having to do is uh, it sheets actually further forward than what we have available for the track. What we're seeing with what Precision offered and what they, what they gave us is not only did they get the specs from you, the measurements, which again is identical to what we did to Far East, but they actually have input. So they tell us or asked us additional questions. They went through and try to analyze what we're going to use this sail for. Precision puts forth effort to uh, make sure that it's going to fit with what you need and what's going to fit your boat properly. And if we hadn't mentioned it in a previous video, if you get your new sail from Precision and it doesn't fit or it's not working the way you want, they'll replace it for you at no cost. Like they want yep. to make sure it fits your boat perfectly and suits your needs perfectly, so. And that's actually one of the things too that Jessica just mentioned is um, if they take a sale in return, they put it on their website for like a discounted price. Basically an at cost price. At cost price. I highly recommend um, looking on their site for new sales that are cut for a different boat, but a lot of times they can fit what you need. It is an insane deal. And I wish I would have noticed it before because we probably could have figured out something for our stay sale um, from them and saved money and actually got some a better something product. Better. Yeah. But uh, the overall sale itself fits perfect. The sheeting angles, perfect. 
um, the material as we showed in the unboxing. Um, uh, really well done. The other thing is they use the Tanara Tanara thread, Tanara thread, which is resistant. a gore, um, like a plastic uh, thread, and they use that so we don't have to worry about that peeling off or having to re-sew that at all. So at least our head sail, we're not going to have a problem yeah. with. It's going to last which pretty much forever. Which is good because Tanara is a great thread to have. It's really hard to work with, so I don't want to have to go back and retouch it later. So they, they did it the first time. Yep, they did it right the first again. time. We want to deal with it at all. Again, the cut, so far what we've seen from um, an up, uh, upwind position, it's a little bit less sail area than what we had previously, but it's actually a better cut, a better position for it. So we're noticing upwind, we're doing a little bit better with it. Um, the boat never is going to do well, real well upwind, but we do notice it plays better with the staysail um, because it's a higher cut. So when we do run it out and we run it as a cutter, we are actually getting a better draw. Only negative um, that I've seen, and this is my fault for not specking it, but is for our leech line. Um, because we have a high clue when you're on deck and you're trying to read what the clue is to adjust the leech line, it's almost impossible to reach. It's too high above. And even when it's rolled in, furled in, it's very difficult to reach too. One of the options you can do is you can put it up and over the head and bring it down to the tack. You put a little block at the top and it actually goes from the clue up to the, uh, the head down to the tack.